Hi TF NAS kids and families. It's almost time for us to reopen and we are so excited to have our kids ministry spaces filled with kids and leaders again. It's gonna be a really great day. September 13th, this Sunday we open back up birth all the way through fifth grade, and we're just so, so excited. But I also know that everybody has a lot of questions about what it's gonna look like and how we're doing things to keep kids safe, keep adults safe. And so I'm gonna walk you through some of the ways that we're gonna do that as we open on the 13th. Our baby hub will be open, so infants all the way through three years old, will be here in the baby hub. We have a couple differences right now though. It starts with our baby hub foyer. So we're just asking one adult to do the drop off and pick up so that we don't get too many people in this foyer area. There will be colored dots on the carpet that will be six feet apart so that you can know how to space yourselves so that nobody's too close to each other. Another main difference is that you will be dropping off and picking up your children right at the entrance to the baby hub. Then we're gonna have runners who will take the kids to their class and take the kids from their classes to bring them back to you when you pick them up. So those are the main differences for drop off and pick up. During the time that the kids are in the nursery, when the they put a toy in their mouth and they're finished playing with it, we're gonna take that toy and put it in a bin so that no other children will be able to play with it. And then after all the children are picked up after each service, we're going to be cleaning and sanitizing all of the toys, all of the surfaces. We've removed the cloth toys and, and any of the toys that we thought would be difficult to clean. So there's they're still toys, but they're a lot easier to clean and keep up. And so we're gonna be sanitizing and cleaning everything in between the surfaces so that they're nice and ready for the next batch of kids every time they get dropped off. So those are the big differences in our baby hub. So let's look at the path we're gonna to take to drop off our kids that are four, year old, four years old and older to our hub junior and hub classes. It's really different than what we're used to. So follow me and I'll show you where we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way, down the hallway that goes past the baby hub. It's gonna be a one-way traffic pattern and it will really help if we only have one adult dropping off and picking up just like in the baby hub. We'll keep the numbers of people lower in the spaces, keep it a little bit safer for everybody. We're gonna go up this stairwell right up in here. And up here there's going to be classrooms that you're going to, you are going to drop off your children right at the door of the classroom. That's really different than what we've been doing since our remodel, where we dropped them off at the hub or the hub junior. Now we're gonna take them right to their classroom doors, drop them off with their teacher so that they are just staying in their classroom. So at the top of the stairs here, we'll be able to see that we have this hallway back in here. This is where all of our classrooms are. They're gonna be clearly marked what age group and what grade level they are. You'll just drop your kids off right there at the door with their leaders. And then that way the kids aren't exposed to a lot of kids in a large group. They're just exposed to the ones in their classroom. And that'll make it a lot safer for all of them. So after the kids have been in there for the service time, you will come the same direction, just right up those stairs, down the hall, the one-way one -way traffic pattern, pick up your kids at the doors of their classrooms and head down the stairwell on the other end. So it's really simple, really easy. After all the kids are picked up, we're going to clean and sanitize all of the surfaces again in these rooms as well so that they're nice and clean for the next batch of kids. One last thing that's really important is that we have a service changed, a service time change. It's nine o'clock instead of 9.30. That helps us have some time to clean and be ready for the next batch of kids. So we really are excited to see your families. We ask that if you are comfortable with it, that you would wear masks. In fact, we really encourage the kids being able to wear masks because that kind of helps us be able to continue to meet longer. As long as everybody stays well, 
we're just gonna be able to keep doing this. And so really, really encourage you to have your kids wear masks. All of our leaders will be wearing them. We're just gonna do our best to keep everybody safe and have a really great time connecting our kids to God's word. So I hope that we get to see you this Sunday, September 13th, and I'll see you there.